Welcome to the 2025-2026 through 2026 FLL map for the Unearthed season. This map is very interesting and I'm going to be going over the best robot and different elements of your robot to take advantage of the map. On this map, I'm going to be going over the sensors first. There's three lines on the map, which are very small, so that means your color sensor can't detect much. That's why you can still use it for stopping on lines, but never line tracking. Another sensor you should use is the gyro sensor, because it has precision every season that you can use directly from the hub. The distance and push sensors aren't very viable because there isn't a good use case for them. That's why the gyro and the color sensor are two good sensors to use this season. When looking at the map with all of the mission models on, there are a lot of gaps and a lot of spaces for the robot to move around. This is why you should take advantage of it by having a big robot so you can move fast. Your robot should be around 9 inches and this will help you take advantage of the map size. When creating a robot, you have multiple options. Your robot size could be small, medium, or big. And for this season, you should use a medium or big robot. Now, as I said before, to move quickly around the map, the best wheels are motorcycle wheels and 68 times 36 or 64.4 times 20 wheels. I covered wheels in another video. You can check that out. Let's now look at the general tips for this season. Number one, the most important and best robot design is a box robot, which is shaped like a box, which allows you to attach attachments easily. The second is to have modular attachments and gearboxes that you can quickly take on and off, so you can have it tailored to every mission or group. Finally, this season has a lot of rotational and object delivery missions. That's why you should create your attachments in a way to solve multiple missions at the same time and focus on your rotational and delivery. And you can do this by creating a claw or a rotating beam. This FLO season, I'm looking forward to see all of the creative designs and all of the unique innovations projects that are created by teams every year of the FLL competition. This season, you can have a lot of creative ideas with archaeology, and that's why you should put all your effort into your FLL season and make sure to win at your competitions. Best of luck to you FLL teams. Like and subscribe to see more videos, and thank you for watching Next Level Robotics.